Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 23rd Excel 2013 tutorial uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can password protect an entire workbook so that if people try to open it uh, they're not going to be able to without putting in your password. Uh, so I'm going to go to file, save as, uh, I've got this document here obviously I'm not that bothered about protecting uh, the, the, just this input but just to show you what to do so go to file uh, and then you can either go to protect workbook and encrypt with a password um, or when you go to save as uh, and this is how I normally do it uh, then go to where you want to save it put in what you want to do uh, and then go to tools general options uh, and this will give you these options here and you've got a password to open which means that in order to open it they need to put in a password. Uh, password to modify means that you'll be able to open it as read only uh, and you'll not be able to change anything in it uh, without the password but you need the password in order, order to modify it. Uh, so I'm going to do password to open uh, and I'm just going to put the password as password with a capital P. Uh, press OK. Again, put in the password, press OK, uh, and then save it down. Uh, so if you're going into the examples and you're trying to open this one, uh, and this will be a download. Uh, I haven't put it up yet, but I will do it as soon as I finish doing these tutorials today. Uh, and try to open it, and you see it comes up with, you need to put the password in. Uh, and I put the password in, and then I'm into the document. Uh, and that's it. Uh, it's not... The most secure if you're going to be emailing it around or putting it on a public place. I wouldn't rely on it because it's quite easy to hack uh, the Excel password. Uh, if you're going to be uh, sending it across by email or something and it's quite sensitive data, uh, I'd recommend using WinZip. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to a video that I will do on WinZip. I'll do a video straight after this, so uh, hopefully once I've uploaded this one, you'll be able to go and look at the WinZip video uh, because it's a way better way of sending data uh, to each other with, that you need to have a password on because it encrypts it all properly as well and it, it's a lot more secure. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, quite a quick one, uh, and uh, if you liked it, please leave a uh, like, or, and if you really liked it, please subscribe, uh, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.